Hi, it's Larry Gaines from Options on the Open. Well, I hope you uh, did well last week trading this crazy topsy-turvy market. Um, and last week, if you remember, I put out a video on July 25th uh, about Apple after its big gap down after the earnings. And uh, in that video, I laid out uh, uh, some ideas on how to trade Apple, uh, looking for a swing trade long uh, in the next couple coming days. And so I want to go through that right now. But uh, before I get started, make sure that you uh, sign up to get my free uh, ebook. So just go to optionsontheopen.com, put your name and your email address, and you'll get this uh, 15 really great option strategies. So uh, sign up now and get that. It's free and it's a really great ebook, so you'll get a lot out of it. Now, on the 25th, we had this you know, major gap down. and uh, I went uh, through all of this in that particular uh, video, uh, but what I said in that video was to uh, be looking for a swing trade to the upside, that we would be looking for that using our power cycle trading model. And so you can see here, this was the 24th right there, the close, the low, uh, you know, came in at uh, 598.51. That was the day or uh, the low before the earnings came out, which were released right after the close and so then Apple hit down here uh, uh, post uh, earnings down as low as 565 so uh, it had a huge move down and then our cycle model I said to be looking for a swing trade long and our cycle model uh, went uh, or gave a signal trade set up for a swing trade to the upside uh, on the 26 which came on um, Thursday, so Thursday at around two o'clock central. So right where I put this arrow in identifies where the system uh, took this swing trade cycle low trade to the upside. So you can see that uh, <clears throat> it went sideways and then popped really hard uh, on Friday, July 27th, and uh, actually closed up over 585. So it had a really great explosive move to the upside. So this was a good swing trade. Swing trades will usually last anywhere from one day to three to four days. But the usual sweet spot is, you know, two to three days. So uh, based on that, there's still some good momentum in Apple. So if you were able to get in, uh, you know, you might want to take a little profit, but hold. And I'm going to show you some of the areas to be looking for next. So this chart is a 30-minute chart of Apple, and um, what I've done here is I've put in Fibonacci retracement levels. When you have a big major move, either up or down, I like to use Fibonacci levels to give me an idea of where it's going to retrace back to. So here was the uh, low from that 24th, which came in at 598.51. That's in the purple. So I took that point, and then I came down to the low that was set uh, on the actually the 24th after the earnings were released it made a low of 565 and that was post market before the next day actually the actual trading session so from this low to this high put in your Fibonacci levels and you can see that you know Friday it had a really nice move to the upside which was a great swing trade long and uh, our system uh, picked it up here on the 26, uh, right, right about here, right, right there at that point, uh, is when it had its uh, signal to uh, enter for a, you know, for a little, you know, intermediate swing trade. So uh, then it exploded to the upside, you know, broke through the 618, broke through the 50% retracement at 58176. And then close right at the 382. So you can see how these FIB levels really, really a, a lot of times help identify support resistance. So amazing came right to that 382, and pretty much uh, stalled out and closed right there uh, at the end of the day on Friday. So you know, looking at this and looking forward to uh, next week, uh, I'm going to shift to daily and give you uh, some ideas as well. But looking at it, uh, a couple things to note from a fundamental standpoint. 
We've got the Federal Reserve meeting. That'll be on Tuesday. Uh, so going into that, uh, Monday should be a fairly stable day. Uh, you've also got the uh, Eurozone will be meeting uh, the ECB. So, you know, before they meet and stuff, the markets are not going to sell off. Uh, if anything, there could be some profit taking, move sideways. Uh, but there could be, you know, some additional follow through. And so we'll see if that happens. So based on that, I mean, Apple has potential here to, you know, get more into this gap area. So you can see the next level of resistance if you're trading Apple will be this 236, about 59060. And also comes in here, you can see this pivot low on this bar on the 30 minute. So that'll be an area uh, to look at. So that's, you know, you've got another potential for another $5 up right here, uh, it, which, you know, Apple, uh, the way it trades, it could be uh, gap up uh, Monday and be in this zone area, you know, as you come in. So be be looking for, you know, 590, this area. And then if you really get some push and additional momentum, it could potentially fill the gap up here to 598.51. So keep those levels in mind. Use your Fibonacci levels. And if you'd like to, uh, you know, get a little bit more help on your trading, uh, you know, come visit us at Options on the Open and uh, get our power cycle trading model, which will help you trade cycle lows and highs. So before I conclude this, I'll show you the daily real quick, too, so you can get a better picture of Apple from a little bit longer term time frame. So here's a quick review. Here's Apple. This is a daily chart. You can see the gap area it came in here. So here's the low from May. Uh, so here's another Fibonacci low from May to the high back here in July. So you can see, you know, it basically came in here and closed over the 382 retracement. And so to fill the gap, you know, that gap area is up here at, you know, about 598.51. That's also the 236. So be a paying attention here. It potentially could get more into this gap area. Doesn't necessarily have to fill the whole gap, but if it gets some fall through, like Apple a lot of times will it could easily fill the gap. So uh, based on that, come join us at Options on the Open, uh, optionsontheopen.com, and, and uh, check us out and get our Power Cycle Trading Model. It'll really help your trading. So enjoy your weekend, and good luck trading next week.